By the end of this lecture, learners will be able to define the expectations of English for specific purposes, ESP, define the demands of English for specific purposes, ESP, identify the challenges faced by teachers of ESP, determine the importance of motivation and effectiveness in ESP courses. Hello everybody. And welcome to the Univ English channel. For more information, you are invited to visit my website, english.mokerma.com. So, let's begin with this question. What are the expectations and demands of English for specific purposes, ESP? There are specific purposes for which English is used, and these purposes often have different expectations and demands following the learner's objectives. In order for ESP courses to be effective, it is important that the expectations and demands of English for specific purposes are understood by both the teacher and the student. What is the purpose of the course? What level of English is required? What skills will be developed? These are some of the questions that need to be answered in order to create a successful learning environment. What is English for specific purposes, ESP? ESP is a field of English teaching that focuses on specific needs, such as business English or academic English. It can be very helpful for learners who want to improve their language skills in a particular area. Teachers who specialize in ESP often have expertise in both language teaching and the specific subject they are teaching. What can ESP learners expect from ESP teachers? The skills that a teacher demonstrates in their approach to teaching ESP will vary depending on the subject. However, teachers who work in the field of ESP share certain characteristics. 1. They are highly knowledgeable about English language teaching and learning. 2. They are committed to the creation of an environment which is conducive to learning. 3. They are able to adapt and modify their teaching approach when it is necessary. Four. In addition, they have a thorough understanding of the learner. 5. They are able to work with a diverse range of learners and use their own teaching experience to adapt their teaching to suit the learner's needs. ESP teachers generally have previous classroom or teaching experience. ESP teachers are not only experienced in the English language, but also possess previous teaching experience in a classroom setting. They understand how to manage and engage students within the classroom, and often use creative methods to help students learn. Additionally, ESP teachers typically have an understanding of the culture in which they are teaching. This allows them to create a more culturally sensitive learning environment for their students. What are the expectations of English for specific purposes, ESP? When it comes to learning English for specific purposes, ESP, learners and instructors alike often wonder what the expectations are. Many people assume that ESP is just a fancy term for learning English for a specific job or field, but in reality, there's a lot more to it than that. In general, ESP courses are designed to help students communicate more effectively in their chosen professional or academic area. However, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to teaching ESP. Every field has its own unique vocabulary and communication needs, so instructors must tailor their lessons accordingly. Additionally, learners must be willing to put in the extra effort required to learn specialized language skills. ESP is a term that is used to refer to the teaching of English to students who are studying a specific field or context. The demands of ESP vary depending on the specific field or context. In some cases, students may need to learn how to read and write academic English, while in other cases, they may need to learn how to use English for specific purposes, such as communicating with customers or co-workers. Accordingly, ESP classes are not a completely separate curriculum, they are taught alongside the regular English language classes. Therefore, a student who is taking ESP content will still be required to study and practice their regular English lessons in addition to their ESP class. What are the demands of English for specific purposes, ESP? This is a question that has been asked by practitioners in the field of ESP, and there is no one definitive answer. However, from what has been studied and observed, it can be said that the demands of ESP vary depending on the specific field or context in which it is being used. 
This can include teaching students how to use English for academic purposes, business purposes, or other specific reasons. It is important that teachers understand the demands of English for specific purposes. For example, in the business world, English may be needed for communication purposes such as emailing or speaking with clients over the phone. In an academic setting, English may be required for reading dense academic texts and writing research papers. And in a medical setting, English may be necessary for understanding doctors' instructions and communicating with patients. Thus, it can be said that the demands of ESP vary depending on the situation or context in which it is being used. In addition, the demand for ESP also depends on the type of tasks that are being performed. To the extent that there are differences in the demand for ESP, it is also possible that some people may have more difficulty with ESP than others. However, one should be careful not to conclude from this that intelligence plays a role in performance on ESP tasks. Even if one assumes that the ESP task is not a good measure of intelligence, it would be difficult to identify any role for intelligence in performance on ESP tasks. Identifying Learner Needs Identifying learner needs is an important part of the teaching process. A good teacher needs to be able to assess what a student knows and doesn't know in order to create a curriculum that meets the student's specific needs. There are a variety of assessment tools that can help teachers do this, including quizzes, tests, interviews, and observations. By using these tools, teachers can identify gaps in students' knowledge and create lessons that fill those gaps. In addition, by understanding students' individual learning styles, teachers can create classroom environments that are conducive to learning. Developing Courses and Materials In order to develop new courses and course materials, instructors need to gather information about the desired outcomes of the courses, the content that will be covered, and the best ways to present that content. This process begins with a clear understanding of what is meant by course development and course redesign. Course development usually refers to the creation of new courses, while course redesign generally refers to making changes to an existing course. Motivation and Effectiveness in ESP Course In order for students to be effective in an ESP course, they need to be motivated. A recent study by Zhao 2018, investigated the motivation and effectiveness of ESP students in a university in China. The study found that the students' motivation was related to their effectiveness in the ESP course. The more motivated students were more likely to be effective in the course. The study also found that the students' motivation changed throughout the semester. At the beginning of the semester, the students were more motivated by intrinsic factors such as their interest in the subject matter and their desire to learn. However, at the end of the semester, they were more motivated by extrinsic factors such as getting good grades and pleasing their teachers. The challenges faced by the instructors. Instructors of all levels and disciplines face a unique set of challenges in their careers. From managing classrooms and dealing with difficult students, to stay current in their field, instructors have a lot on their plates. Despite these challenges, many instructors find great satisfaction in teaching and helping students learn. Instructors need to be familiar with the best teaching strategies, both from a classroom and self-study perspective. These strategies are important for training new or less experienced teachers. They also help instructors deal with difficult students in the classroom setting. Teaching strategies for determining learning styles Learning styles have been identified as a factor that can influence student learning. This can be a factor to consider in determining the needs of students. Students with different learning styles respond differently to teaching strategies. Students with visual, auditory and kinesthetic learners are more likely to become bored when the teacher does not use active methods of instruction. Student expectations in ESP course ESP courses are designed for students who want to improve their English for specific purposes. In this type of course, students expect to learn how to use English for a specific purpose such as in a professional setting or in an academic context. In order to get the most out of an ESP course, it is important to have realistic expectations. 
consider the following from an ESP course. 1. You will learn how to use English for your specific purposes. 2. You will be able to communicate more effectively in your field of interest. 3. Your classmates will be from a variety of backgrounds and levels. 4. The focus of the class will be on practical communication skills. 5. There will be a lot of speaking and listening practice. 6. The teacher will use a variety of teaching methods and materials. 7. Homework will be assigned regularly and may include tasks related to your specific field. 8. You will have opportunities to practice English outside the classroom. 9. You will have opportunities to interact with the teacher and other students. 10. You will have the opportunity to improve your English speaking, listening and writing skills. Conclusion English for specific purposes is a vital component of communication in the global community. It is not only a language but also a system that is used to meet the needs of specific users in specific academic and professional contexts. There is no one size fits all as the expectations and demands of ESP can be difficult to meet since it varies depending on the purpose for which it is being used. However, there are some general expectations that are common to all types of English usage. These include the need for clear communication, precision and accuracy, and a consistent style across pieces of writing. Although ESP can be challenging, the benefits are clear. With the right instruction and motivation, students can become more proficient English speakers and communicators in any field they choose.